Oh yeah. In the lab again, elaborate guitars on the Toltec Pickups channel. And today just a quick look at this beautiful bit of wood which belongs to the studio that we work from here, the Nave Studios based in Leeds UK. This is a Fender Jaguar L series. 65 pre CBS is what we've dated this at stamped L 67874 slab board. It has the pearl dots, not too pearly, they're not clay, the vintage seven and a quarter radius. Everything's original on this. The torch shell guard, which is warped and buckled to heck. The original, yet horrific, bridge that these suffer from. Rattles and pings and all sorts of chaos, of course. Uh, it's had some tape wrapped around the posts the bridge post which sit in the thimbles in the body which is a technique you can use to take up that slack now the idea of the rocking bridge as it were for this busy upstairs is that the bridge posts on the chassis are loose when they thread <laughs> pause into the thimble sat in the body which enables that bridge to move you can if you were to take the strings off or even you don't even have to take the strings off this would move about like nobody's business the rocking bridge the idea of that is that when you're doing your light vibrato there that this would move now the downside of that is that if that is loose in there, if it's as it should be original, let's say, without any quick modification, that it can move and get stuck in these positions, thus messing about with your tuning and your intonation and the pitch of it sounds a bit whack. A little technique that people do to help take up that slack is bind some insulating drafting tape around the post and so it's tight and squeeze that in so this is kind of sturdy and the tremming action and the vibrato action still works I can see it moving but only fractional but it still works this needs a good uh, it needs a good service for me to be fair because it's uh, it's crackly and whatnot and it plays a little crap as well the uh, strings are old I've just taken this from the studio to just show you here usually I do the maintenance on the studio instruments but i haven't got to this one in a while as i can tell but i'll give this a good going over and get it playing and sounding a lot nicer get rid of all that crackle <laughs> selector you've got this little bass cut let's say which thins everything out 
want, why you would want that, I don't know, because that's just a bridge on with the bass cut. Neck, man, myself, and I am a fan of the... Rhythm circuit. As you know with this kind of circuit on Jaguar and Jazz Master, you flick up to here, it puts the neck only on volume tone and it's a different value caps and pots in there to create a thicker, more rhythmical sound. Demonstrate that by just having the bridge on. I'm sure these are all. Yep. <laughs> all dusty and crackly, so I'll get to that. It has this natural forearm wear, and it's got all the chips and dings and buckle rash and gunk nitrocellulose finish even the bit where the strap looks like it's been laid on the body in a case at some point and the impression of the strap weave has worked an impression into there but that's the beauty of these things just a lovely naturally worn neck Cluson deluxe stamped tuners all original it's got the lacquer checking crackling just everywhere fantastic looking feeling the neck feels beautiful it's had nut work which I've done I know for sure the contour body decal has worn off and then this is slightly going but just a demonstration of a wonderful old bit of genuine vintage gear the frets, I've done these frets a while ago, a couple of times now, and these are going again, so if we want to keep this as a working instrument for the studio to use on records and be recorded, we are going to have to, unfortunately, change, well it's not unfortunate, in a way of making the tool do the job. We're gonna to have to refret because things are getting to the point where they're that far gone now, there's no fret left to re-level and crown. That will change the originality of the instrument. So we'll discuss what we need to do, whether we want to retire it as a piece of original artwork let's say instrumentation or we want to use it as a workhorse what it was designed for and refret that's a thing when it comes to vintage instruments it's a call you have to make a judgment call whether you want to use it for its purpose to the best of its capabilities or whether you want to keep it as a I guess by that point it's going to be a museum piece in it or you know wall art anyway the 1965 L series pre-CBS Fender Jaguar Beautiful bit of gear, looks awesome, feels awesome, sounds okay, easy. <laughs> 